New Jersey has been the foundation and what has shaped me for my 19 year journey on the US Women's National Team. It started growing up here, playing every sport possible, which ultimately led to soccer choosing me in the world stage. Yeah, what keeps me going, I think just that competitive edge and just the grind every day of practice and playing against the best players in the world and then being able to go perform and enjoy it on game day because game day is where it's at. But for me, it's just the journey and the preparation and what it takes to get to the World Cup. And then it's just from there, just enjoying and having fun and, and hopefully celebrating at the end with my teammates. You know, you gotta, you gotta like get deep and be like, okay, what can I do to make this a great day? You know, and it's, it's getting in that mindset and like I said, like some days are good, some days are bad. You don't know what the other person next to you is going through that day, whether it's death, fight, you know, fighting at home, kids sick. Like you don't know what that person has has dealt with, and when they snap, you you know, bring them back. Committing to Monmouth University was the best decision I made. I was able to play basketball and soccer, making my transition to Team USA much easier. I went from a goal scorer and an offensive threat, converting to a defender, going up against the best international forwards in the world. The toughness and competitive edge you gained growing up New Jersey allowed my fellow Jersey girls and I to win the World Cup and bring the gold home at the Olympics multiple times. Let's give a proper round of applause to our guest of honor tonight, Christy Pierce Rampone. I was able to compete in five World Cups, and every World Cup was so different because of the advancement of technology, the togetherness of the team, the Federation putting more money into it. My mistakes, which I've learned through my 19-year career, is you're going to make mistakes. Mistakes happen. It's part of the game, and it's how you overcome it, and how do you adjust, and how you get better from those mistakes. And obviously, transitioning to a different position, a different role on the team, um, I just kept going at it and you know, had nothing to lose and had that mindset because that's the difference from winning and losing is that mindset and that ability to focus on what you're doing at that time when you cross the line. Physical stress is the stress in the body of the wear and tear. Are you, are you overdoing it? Are you working out too hard? Are you recovering enough? And then there's that mental stress of can I get everything done in the day? And it becomes like chaos throughout that day and it's just trying to yeah, embrace it, deal with it, and realize you can't do everything in life. You know, there's so many things going on and so many people are pulling you in different directions. It's just trying to focus on what um, is essential for that day. And then if anything else extra gets in with that day, you can, you know, go do that. I do not work out to any music because this is where the mindset comes in. I'm going to challenge you all to try this, okay? Try to work out with no music. Feel your body. Feel how your legs feel. Your mind starts going. You're breathing heavy. You try to talk yourself out of pushing harder. It's a mental game and it's a mental challenge. And I've been doing it from, you know, obviously when I started training more, probably around 15. Okay? It's hard, but that's how you feel in the game. So if you're listening to music for that distraction while you're working out, you don't have that distraction in the game. Your mind starts going and saying, my legs feel heavy. I can't get through this. You know, how are you going to push yourself through those tough times, those last five minutes of the game when you're down and you need a goal, right? I challenge you guys to work out, run, specifically running, to no music and, and listen to your body and see how your body feels. Accountability is something special in a player. If you can actually walk off the field and not look towards the coach or towards your parents, let you know if you've had a good game, you're going to go far. Right? If you can self-evaluate yourself and realize whatever the game plan was, did you, get, did you accomplish that? Did you make yourself out there look good? Did you make the players around you even better? Um, that's the key. Yeah, but I think as a mom, it puts the game more in perspective. I thought after having kids, I was a better soccer player, a better leader, a better teammate because you don't sweat the small stuff. You know, it's easy to say that, but you don't overthink, oh, I had a bad practice. That's going to affect, am I going to play in the next game? Is, is she looking elsewhere? Like, am I going to get cut? Like, everything that you did beforehand was affecting. And after I had kids, I had to come home, and then I'm going to the park. And then I'm, like, putting them down for a nap. And, you know, it was all on me. And, um, you know, there's days that I didn't even sleep. You know, I was yeah. feeding all night and getting up. 
but I didn't let that affect, because when I opened my hotel room and I went out to training, that was the whole thing, is like no one can understand what I'm going through, I don't want it to affect anything. But being a mom made my career so much better. We always have the open communication, if you want mom to stop, I'll stop playing, but they're like, go for it, keep playing. No matter how my training is, when I come home, I'm a mom. It's a pretty amazing experience for them that they get to be around. Just this incredible lot of females that are role models. Because we are so creative, we have so much flair, so we definitely put the, the opponents on their heels and they don't know what's coming at after them, and which I think is great because we want to be unpredictable. We want to have that creativity in the field. You know, this, this team is unbelievable, and I think we have what it takes to win the World Cup.